Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Moonlit and Polished. In today's episode, we're unboxing my BoxyCharm. Man, BoxyCharm has been killing it. They upgraded with the Box Deluxe that comes every three months, and then you get like nine products. It's like a never-ending line of products, which is amazing. Um, and now I hear they have Boxy La or BoxyCharm 2.0. BoxyCharm 2.0. So there's the regular subscription, which is the $21 a month. And now there's another one called Boxy 2.0, where I believe you get two more products. And there's one that you get to add on. Either like they have add-ons or you get to customize one item. It's crazy either way. Um, this is just the regular BoxyCharm. Those are the only ones I'm upgrading to. I'm sorry, I love it. I love Box Charm and I would love to get all of their different boxes. But to be honest, I think the regular box every month and then the box deluxe every three months, even that's a little pushing it because I have a lot of makeup that I don't use. But I just, you know, I enjoy getting the stuff. I enjoy trying new things, really expensive things that I wouldn't try normally. So I'm really excited to get into this box because I've gotten some really great stuff lately. And hopefully that keeps happening. All right, guys, so I went ahead and opened this box yesterday, and I used two of the items last night just because uh, linearly it just worked out better that way for me to use those two particular items before the last three. So this is kind of a two-night video that I did, um, but let's get into it. All right, so the first product I'm going to use is actually going to be the face wash because I'm going to go to bed right now. And so that is... This is the Skin & Co. Roma Truffle Therapy Face Gommage. Uh, it goes for $28. It's a delicate exfoliating cream with a rich texture and soothing fragrance. So if it is a cream, let's see. Yeah, the instructions say apply liberal amount to the face and neck. Gently massage with circular movements for one to two minutes. Avoiding eye area. Remove with a damp, lukewarm face towel and pat dry. You to use two to three times per week. All right. So this is like a full exfoliating face wash. And what I actually like about this product that I see right now is it has like a list of things in the back. There's a black truffle extract. There's apricot seed powder, sweet almond extract, squalene, and allantoin. Twine. And it explains a little bit about what each thing is supposed to do. And it looks like the apricot seed powder is the exfoliant in here. I actually have a rice exfoliator that I really like that I bought um, at Ulta. It's one of the Korean skincare brand ones. And I've been fairly happy with it. I don't know if this one's going to make me even happier. I don't know. Let's go try it and find out. All right. I'm going to wash my face. I would take you with me, but I actually dropped my camera once already this week, and I am now really paranoid about moving it, like, at all, because if my camera breaks, that's it, because I can't afford a new one. <laughs> all right, so I will be right back. Luckily, the bathroom is, like, right out the door, but I just started to put this on my face, and I wanted to quickly say this because I know I would forget. Uh, the smell... It has an apricot smell to it with a very like subtle undertone of that truffle smell. This brand, I've tried their toner and I've tried one of their face mists and it always has that truffle oil smell. So I don't actually think I would ever want to buy this brand. I've gotten it in BoxyCharm several times before, but that smell like it gets me and it's not good. Also, this is not a face wash. There's no sudsing to it. It's more of a cream cleanser with an exfoliant to it. And the apricot seed powder compared to the rice polish that I use on my face is much more abrasive. And I don't like that. So I'm going to go get the rest of this off my face. I was just massaging it in and I was like, let me run and tell them this quick. So I'm going to go rinse this off. Be right back. All right. So I, I tried it. I don't like it. Um, after... I rinsed it off. As I said, it's not soapy. It's just cream. So it's a cream cleanser and exfoliant. And I, I'm assuming it's supposed to moisturize at some point. But after rinsing it off my face and letting, you know, the water dry and everything, I, I feel just dry. I, I thought I would feel a little bit more moisture. Not like I just slathered on some cream and let my face absorb it moisture. But just like a smidge. And I didn't feel that. And like I said, I think that the scrub is a little more 
intense than I would like. And I've been fairly happy with how my skin is behaving these days lately. I honestly think it's because of the Kypris that we got, I think, two boxes ago. Which I'm hoping it's not because that stuff is like $90. And I don't need to know that the reason my skin has been doing so fabulous lately is because of that. Because I really don't want to have to buy it again. But... But that's besides the point. We're moving on to the next thing in the box, since now I'm going to go to bed, and luckily one of the things in the box is a sleep mask. Now I've said before in the past that I don't like the idea of a sleep mask. I actually wear um, one of those little sleep eye masks when I go to bed. It actually has little Bluetooth headphones in it, and I play music or a show that I know by heart. Something to kind of like distract my brain from itself when I'm sleeping and because of that I can't have like a layer of something on my face when I'm sleeping because then it would gunk up the mask and it'd be gross and it's horrible but um in this box came the glow recipe watermelon glow sleeping mask this retails for $22 it says it's a bouncy, breathable sleeping mask that soothes and perfects skin overnight. This pillow-proof formula acts as a radiance-boosting face mask formulated with soothing amino acid-rich watermelon extract, hydrating hyaluronic acid, which I love, and pore refining AHAs that work while you sleep to gently exfoliate and clarify. I love the idea of pore refining because now that my skin is getting better everywhere else, I can focus on trying to like minimize my pores and they're right here and on my nose. That's where they're the biggest. Everywhere else seems fine. Oh yeah, also right here. Um, so I'm excited to try and use this and like I'm not going to go directly to bed. I'm actually going to do some stuff before then. So I think if I put this on and wait for maybe an hour, uh, maybe two hours, Maybe it'll have absorbed enough that I won't feel the need to rinse it off before I go to sleep. But let's see. I'm intrigued that it came in this, like, plastic pouch thing. So. I don't know if this is the full-size version of this mask or not. But I do like the glass of it. It's kind of bumpy in a way that is not normally seen on stuff like that. Normally you see a very sleek, rounded container, but I like the idea of a bumpy and perfect glass thing. So let's see what this card that came in it with is. Oh, this is just information. Uh, to use as a sleeping mask, apply a final step of the evening routine. For drier skin types, add an additional layer if desired. Pat gently until absorbed. Wash thoroughly. Okay, so this is something you wash off in the morning. Uh, oh, and they actually can be used as a wash-off mask. It says right here, to use as a wash-off mask, apply a thick, generous layer to damp, clean skin. Rinse with lukewarm water after 10 minutes. I'm intrigued now. I don't know if I want to wash it off after 10 minutes. Hmm. Yeah. I think what I'll do is I'll apply it and see how it absorbs and when I'm ready for bed. I'll see how it feels if I want to wash it off or not. I'll I'll let you guys know. All right, so let's get to application. Okay, so it said on the package to make sure that this is shaken up before each use because I guess it separates once it's been sitting there for a while. It's probably super shook because I just got it in the mail today. But, you know, I'm going to do it because I follow the rules. I like these little tops because they always have a little bit of the product on top so I don't have to stick my finger directly in yet. I can just kind of pick it up from here and apply it. If I'm looking off to the side it's because that's where I had to put my mirror. Hmm, It's very slick and moisturizing. I don't personally like watermelon as a fruit. I love watermelon juice or uh, watermelon flavored drinks. I love watermelon candy. Oh my god. I will eat an entire bag of just watermelon Jolly Ranchers by myself and I will be completely unashamed about it. All right. So there wasn't really a lot. I'm going to use my little silicone tool. I bought this like three piece silicone tool set off of uh, yeah, makeuprevolution.com. They was on sale for like $4. And it's very handy, except for the fact that I can't get it in. It's too big. Oh, crap. It's usually really handy with this kind of stuff because I don't have to stick my finger in it. 
Come on, just squeeze in there. Well, what's the point? I can get just the littlest bit if I angle the bottle. All right, so I've applied it everywhere to my face that I can, and I can absolutely see where my skin already started to absorb it because it starts to sort of thin out and make like these little bubbly areas, or not bubbly, but it looks like suddenly there's a spot that's dry or looks drier than the rest. So it's starting to absorb it. I will see how this reacts in the next hour or so, see if it absorbs a little bit more or less, or if it gets sticky or whatever because this is a wash off mask so i do assume that there's going to be some type of residue otherwise why would they tell you to wash it off at the end of the day um but i love the scent i was worried that with a sleep mask something that's going to be on your face for a long period of time if the smell was too strong then maybe obviously it wouldn't work as a sleep mask because who wants like a strong perfume in their face when they're trying to sleep no, this is very soft and fresh smelling. So it's just like someone cut in a watermelon and now you're just passing by and getting a nice whiff of it. All right, so I will let this sit for about an hour and I will come back and let you know what happens. So it's only been about half an hour and it feels like my skin mostly absorbed it. There are some bits that are a little bit wet. Those are the parts where I put it on a lot thicker. And honestly, I feel like I could be comfortable putting my sleep mask on over this. I may have just found the, the first meant to sleep with sleep mask that I can actually use and not mine. Because I don't feel like my face is being, like, I don't feel like it dried and I'm, my face is tight. I just feel like it, my face absorbed it. It just feels very moist. Um, and there's, like, the little pieces that I said were thicker. They don't, they don't feel too wet. I actually really like it. It's really nice. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and head to bed, and I will see you guys tomorrow with the last three items. Okay, so I know I look pretty distracting right now. It's because I'm stunning, obviously. Uh, I started to shoot stuff for the next thing without actually introducing the next thing, so I'm going to rewind a bit. Anyway, so I took off the watermelon stuff. Um, actually, I was on my way to bed. I was in my pajamas. It's comfy, looking like a troll. That's how I like to go to sleep. And uh, I went to go brush my teeth, and I touched my chin, and I felt like something kind of pull away. And when I looked, it was the thicker parts of the serum or the sleep mask, they kind of dry and they end up feeling kind of like a peel off mask or for lack of a better word, they kind of feel like boogers <laughs> and it looks kind of like a pink booger when you pull it off. Um, as I started to pull it off, it was actually kind of creepy because it looked like a spider web almost, you know, you're stretching it and the strings get finer and thinner and you're kind of just freaked out for a second. Like, Holy crap, when did a spider just put a whole entire web on my face? But that's what it is. So that's what you can expect when you wake up if you sleep with it overnight. Um, either you're going to just have a bunch of rolled up pink boogers on your pillow when you wake up, because I had some of that, or you're going to end up feeling it and pulling it off yourself, and it'll look like a spider web and freak you out. Either way, I really like this product as a sleep mask. I'm actually really into using it again. I can't wait to try it, you know, several times to see how much I enjoy going to sleep with it since usually I don't like to go to sleep with things on my face but this one just didn't feel like it was wet the entire night which is what I like. I like to know that my face is actually absorbing whatever's going on there. So now getting into the next thing in the box I wonder if you can guess what it is. Huh? Huh? <laughs> the next thing in the box is a eyeshadow palette by Ace Beauty. 
and this palette goes for $34.99. Uh, this eyeshadow palette features 12 colors that are reminiscent of the beautiful sunrises and sunsets witnessed in various locations around the world. Each color has been carefully milled and pressed to provide the easiest application and the most excellent color payoff. I honestly don't think so already from having done the one eye. But also, we got a palette from Ace Beauty in the box sometime last year. I don't recall what year or what month or whatever it was, but this is the old palette that I got. And if you look at the colors, they're orange, pink, sort of like sunsetty things. And then this one is basically the same. It's just a more expanded version of that. There's more different oranges, like much lighter oranges going into darker oranges for more transitional work, I suppose you could say. It's also kind of reminiscent of the Celestial Thunder palette. If you take away these three right here, then the other four kind of look like they just fit into this palette. And this is what I'm talking about with BoxyCharm. I even went into my beauty quiz to see if maybe I had selected just colors like this all the time because I feel every eyeshadow palette I have gotten has been in this color family and I always put give me whatever so I don't know it maybe it's just me maybe they just assume I love this color payoff like this color palette and to be honest I have so many eyeshadows in these colors that at this point I mean I don't even know is it my favorite did I want all these what happened but um, I started to do this eye here and I wanted to do a specific eye look that I found on Pinterest. I think it's Society 19's photo. It's just this really pretty sort of pinky burgundy color. But since this one has more oranges in it, it's more I'm doing more of an orangey version of that. And to get that dark line was actually super difficult to build upon. I, I've been kind of building and building and building and building, trying to get it to pop more, but it's kind of difficult to get it to really be as pigmented as I wanted it to. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this other eye and then maybe you guys can get an idea of how it, you know, how the eyeshadow is working out. I, I don't know the words. I don't know the words. I don't know why I don't know the words. I learned English at some point in my life, so I should know them, but I don't. So we're gonna go ahead and start showing you the look. Let's do this. All right, here we have the Pretty Bulger Undercover Concealer. This goes for $25, and I already think it might be 
shade too light. I'm hoping it's not, but I always hope, don't I? Uh, I actually used this to do the cut crease on my conceal or on my eyeshadow look. It takes a minute to dry down, so it's uh, the type of concealer that stays a little bit wet longer, so you might want to set it with something. I'm about to try it under my eye, see what I need to do. All right. So I have my foundation on. This is the Juvia's Place in Bogota. The Juvia's Place I Am Magic Velvety Matte Foundation in Bogota. And uh, I have that foundation on right now. So this is the eye with concealer. And then this is the eye without. I don't really see a difference. Like I've always had these sort of dark shadow lines here. Ever since I was a little girl I've always had them. I don't know, maybe it's from never getting a good night's sleep in my entire life. So, hmm, who knows? Either way, uh, I kind of don't really see a difference. Remember, this side has concealer. This side does not. I'm going to do this other side now and see what happens. I don't know. I don't know. I don't really see a difference. And actually, now that I... Th I don't really see a difference. And actually, now that I think about it, I think my settings are still weird from when I did uh, some pictures outside. So let me adjust them and see if that might help. Okay. I changed my settings, and I think that this looks much better. Uh, I forgot because I took some pictures like outdoors, so I had to change my settings around and I forgot to put them back. Bad YouTuber. Bad. Anyways, so now let's go back. Um, I don't see a huge difference. Like, you know, that the concealer is perfect, but it does match my skin tone. Um, I guess... I guess maybe because I know those shadows are there, I still see them even with makeup on. Just how, you know, if you see a spot on your face, you can still see the darn spot, even though you have like makeup on and nobody else would notice. It just happens. So let me just let it go, finish my eye look, and then move on to the next thing. Uh, before I forget, I didn't feel the need to set down the concealer immediately. It doesn't feel tacky. It doesn't feel wet anymore. And I think that's partially because of me putting it on with my um, sponge. It absorbed most of the moisture, whereas on my eyelids, I didn't really put it on with a sponge. I need to get one of those little tiny ones, see if maybe I can do it with that. All right, so now as I'm trying to finish my makeup, that is when I can start to feel that the concealer is sort of creasing. And by feel, I mean see with my eyes, because I'm not blind. <laughs> and it's uh, creasing in the edges of, like I have a few little creases right here that I can see it lining in, and then these big old creases I have under my eyes here. So I'm just going to take my sponge and set that with some powder. Yeah, as soon as I apply it with apply powder on top, I'm pretty sure that this concealer changes color. I don't like that reaction. I used my Becca, what is this? The Becca Hydramis Set and Refresh Powder that I got in like two boxy, four boxy terms ago. And uh, on top of that concealer, it makes it more of a mustardy color, which I don't like. Because now you can see, like right along here, it's more mustard color. You weird. My hair is officially a disaster. It is dry, it is brittle, it is breaking off in pieces, and I have the most flyaways. I've always had that issue ever since I was a little, little girl. My older sister used to call me the ray of sunshine. God, I wanted to punch her in the beef so much. 
<laughs> because she would always say that and I just had this like array of hair it's just my baby curls that for whatever reason don't grow past a certain point and when my hair is curly they just curl and fade into the hair and you don't really notice them as much but when it's straight it is the worst especially on this side all of this I have tons of hairspray in here usually it'll stand up like that and even with hairspray this is the best I could do like I'm gonna have to cut my hair and go back to curly hair soon it's too bad because I love the dyed look, but I just can't deal with it for too long. Oh well. And now that I've complained to you about my hair and told you about my desire to punch my sister in the beef, whatever that is, it's just the word that came to mind, I'm going to go ahead and bring up the last product in the box, which is the Mana Kadar Beauty Lip Whip. It's a matte lip color that is whipped to perfection, easy to apply, and formulated with long-lasting pigments that don't dry out your lips. I like the sound of that. This retails for $21. I do not like the sound of that, and I'm not even sure what's on this. Oh, that's from, like, foundation. You know when you just make such a huge mess on your vanity, and there's just an entire face of makeup spread all over the place? Ooh, careful. Genius. To clean this, I wet this with acetone, which is not what you do. I thought it was my, my micellar water pump. It was not. Well, it didn't damage it too much, so we're good. Let me just apply the lipstick before I accidentally destroy it. I think this is the second lipstick in a while that when I put it on, I'm like, it's my lip color in a tube. They took my natural lip color and they made it into a lipstick. I love it. This is just going to go into the collection of dozens of nude lipsticks I have that I love, that I use. But, I mean, I have how many lipsticks in this color? I mean, they're all different colors, but they're all basically the same color. You know what I mean. You probably have the same thing going on. So it applied smooth, and uh, I noticed I had a little bit of dried lip skin right in the middle. It's not too obvious, but I would recommend making sure you exfoliate your lips. Um, usually I take the time to do that when I do my whole like face thing, you know, face mask, exfoliating, whatever. I've just neglected to do it because when it, the weather gets really dry like this, my lips tend to split and doing a whole exfoliation just hurts, like stings because I have like micro cuts in my lip. But yeah. That's it. That's the last thing in the box. We had, of course, five this month because I am only a boxy, like I'm a boxy charm subscriber, but I only upgraded for the boxy lux. I haven't upgraded for the boxy premium, which I believe is the one where you get two more items in the box. Um, but I did do an add on for next month, so we'll probably have a couple things. I am looking for all of the stuff. Okay, so that was everything in the box. This eyeshadow palette, honestly, it's one of those things that, like, if you'd went to the store and you saw it and you went home without buying it, I don't think you'd be sitting there wishing you had bought it. It's like if you bought it, you'd probably forget you had it. And if you didn't buy it, you'd probably forget you were interested. So I think you could buy it and not buy it and be happy either way. You don't need it to be happy and successful in your life. Um... This, I didn't like the way it reacted with the powder. I still have a very distinct different color line for my eyeshadow right here. Not my eyeshadow, but from the concealer with the powder on it. It's like a mustardy yellow color, and I'm not into that. And then this Skin & Co. Roma. I think I'm definitely just going to pass this along unless I have inordinate amounts of dr dead dry skin on my face that I need to get off. I don't really see myself using an exfoliant that's this abrasive. I could probably use this on my feet. I'm constantly looking for a good <laughs> for a good exfoliant for my feet. I know it's for your face, but I have sensitive feet. 
So, I don't know. Actually, I'm actually really excited to try this on my feet now. Is that weird? Uh, okay, so the definite hits of the box are these two right here. So this is the perfect sleep mask from somebody who does not like using sleep masks. I have said it every time we get a sleep mask and I've never touched the other sleep masks from BoxyCharm ever again, aside from doing the videos. This one, I really loved the way my face felt afterward. I didn't mind the way it felt on my face because it didn't feel wet. My face absorbed all of the liquid, <laughs> the moisture from it, and it felt amazing. So I don't mind this, especially because it just kind of pulls off into like a little gooey mess, like a sticky booger. <laughs> um, it's easy to just kind of remove it all and then throw it away. So I really like this as opposed to a cream that just gets all over the pillow. And this, it feels very lightweight and I like the color and it was easy to apply. Also, I mean, aside from like a little smidge right there, it's... A matte lipstick, it's gonna last long. And I think there's like a little couple dots on my fingers, but that's it. That's all I can ask for for a matte lipstick is that it look good and that it doesn't completely smudge off when I kiss or when I drink out of a straw. I wish I had something to drink out of right now, but I don't. I'm going to dehydrate and die. Crap. Oh well. That's all that was in the box this month and that's all I have for you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.